Alright, this is going to be added on to the uh, sculpture, not the tree. <laughs> I'm going to trim this down. I finally figured out what I'm going to do as far as uh, what he's going to be doing with his arms. And uh, I'm going to have him, I don't know if this is too thick or not. I'll have to trim it down a little. Anyway, um, I'm having a walking stick. And if you're hiking up in the mountains, I don't care how old you are, you're going to use a walking stick usually just because sometimes you need one. You can't use your rifle as a walking stick. And what I'll do is I'll have his rifle slung over his uh, back in a scabbard uh, to protect the uh, gun while he's uh, hiking up through the mountains. So anyway, that's the thought. I don't know if it'll work out, but uh, that's what I had came up with last night as I was working on my daily video. Alright, I'm going to get started. I, I'm doing this early in the afternoon because I'm going to dinner again tonight. <laughs> About once a week. Alright. Time to play with some clay. I think I'm got this the way I want it. I forgot that I had just stuck these arms into the wax that's underneath the uh, clay. Not a big deal. I can work with that. the right spot to put that right there I'm not going to put clay on the uh, stick I want it to look like a stick a pole or whatever he's taken and used as a stick It does mean he's going to have to have his shoulder forward a little bit, so that's good. What I did was I drilled a couple of holes into the... Uh, stick then I can stick those uh, wires through that way it anchors the uh, arms onto the uh, pole I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make that work a little bit better
Now I'm not going to draw, I mean, I'm not going to do all the anatomy under the clothing. I'm just going to indicate where the uh, shoulder blade would be. So there's some action onto the uh, clothing, underneath the clothing. Mind you, I still don't know this is going to work out or not, but what the heck? Got to try. Besides, every piece of artwork is a new experiment, no matter what you're doing. Well, I got the uh, arm too long, so I'm going to take it out of here ah. and rebend it. Both arms got to be the same length. You can't have one arm longer than the other because that might look a little odd. That's good. I give all the proportions on my instructional videos on creating a human figure. And it just so happens that uh, the human figure I was creating on that video was a mountain man. Ah! <laughs> so. Whew. Strenuous, guys. Strenuous. Oop, no. 
don't want to knock that over. That's going to work out just fine. And the uh, balance looks good. I'm thinking this leg needs to be on the other side of the stick. It's like he's pausing before he swings his weight up onto that rock. What I like to do is make things look like the figure is just in mid motion, just getting ready to do something, but maybe just paused for a second to assess what he's uh, doing or maybe just enjoying the uh, view for a moment before he makes his final push to get up on that rock. All right, that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm thinking about adding a hat in his hand or off of his shoulder you know just hanging off his neck don't know yet that's just a real rough sketch uh, i'll get a lot more refined in whatever i do as far as a hat goes i don't want to put a fur cap on him that's that's uh in the summertime you wouldn't want to be wearing a damn fur cap because it uh i used to do mountain man stuff years and years ago and believe me those fur caps get really warm in the summertime i like his uh, body action i like his arms they look a lot better than they did before because before they were just a little too long all right good night everybody i'm gonna go enjoy my dinner and i'll see you next time please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget i have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night